How is your relationship with your kitchen? <laughs> That's probably not a question you've ever considered, but just go with me here. I'm Jen from Body Trust Nutrition, and I'm smack dab in the middle of teaching my new course, The Stress-Free Eating Blueprint. And one of the students said, oh, Jen, when I think about it like a relationship, I feel more encouraged because I know that I could work on things to make it better. So just think for a minute what your relationship is like with the kitchen. Is it a place that you only visit on holidays and then you do so much cooking and it's overwhelming and you don't really want to be there most of the year? You just run in and out to do a quick, quick heating something up in the microwave? Or do you dread your time with the kitchen night after night? You're just like on the fly trying to figure out what to make and you don't enjoy it and it's just grinding it out and then you have the dishes and then the next day it starts all over and you don't look forward to your time there or maybe you are new to cooking and you're interested but you're not sure how to get to know the kitchen you haven't had experience and it feels overwhelming or you just don't feel very confident or maybe you love the kitchen you have a wonderful kitchen. You love to spend time there and you're creative and you like to slow down and enjoy the process, but you don't have the time. And so you feel frustrated because what you would like to be able to do is not what you have the time for. And so then you don't look forward to the kitchen either. So many different ways that this could be for all of us and our relationships with how we feed ourselves and all the steps involved are really individualized. And we have this false promise that if we just find the right meal planning app or get the prettiest cookbook and find the best way to do our shopping list that it will all come together. And for me, that's like thinking that when I go buy all the wonderful things at the office supply store, which is one of my favorite places to shop, that having the cute post-its and the fun paper clips and new file folders will really help me get my administrative duties streamlined, which is not the case. I just have really cute post-its and paper clips and folders, but I don't, that's not enough. I still need to create a system that will work. So I'd like you to consider that if you have had a struggle and you keep trying new ways to find inspiration, but then it's not lasting, there are some other questions that might help you. So think about how often you'd like to cook. How often do you want to do the shopping? Would you prefer to do a bulk shopping at a warehouse store once a month or twice a month and then quick shopping trips to the, to the market in between? Do you prefer to do your whole planning once a month for all the weeks coming or do you have another rhythm that would work better for you? And how could you be creative with this process? So thinking about all the different steps involved and how it would work best for you, your household, and everything that's changing all the time, because even the best system that we have in place has to allow for flexibility. So I'm gonna ask you again, and I would love for you to comment below, how's your relationship with the kitchen? Have a great day, everyone. Aloha.